Thank you, Mr. President. Yeah. Thank you for taking the time before flying home. Um, you just said you believe the conflict between Israel and Iran is over. What makes you so confident it is? And what do you do if it isn't? Because I dealt with both, and they're both tired, exhausted. They fought very, very hard and very viciously, very violently. Uh, and they were both satisfied to go home and get out. And can it start again? I guess someday it can. It could maybe start soon. Uh, I think a big telltale sign was when, uh, as you know, Iran somewhat, by not much, violated the uh, ceasefire. And Israel had the planes going out that morning, and there were a lot of them, 52 of them. And I said, you got to get them back. And they brought them back. They didn't do anything. They brought them back. It was very good. I thought it was amazing, actually. Uh, they have uh, fought a hell of a war. They fought very hard. I think the war ended, actually, when we hit the various nuclear sites with the planes. And I just hope you people can give these pilots. These are the best pilots in the world. They're the best shots in the world. They call them shots. That's what they are. And and wait a minute. And I, th I just hope you can give them the respect they deserve, because they came home to fake news. And like, oh, gee, there was hardly any damage. The things are decimated. So, uh, but I think, no, I think they're, they're very much finished. I think uh, Israel's going to get back to doing what they do, and I think that Iran's going to get back. You know, Iran has a huge advantage. They have great oil, and they can do things. I don't see them uh, getting back involved in the nuclear business anymore. I think they've had it. They've been at it for 20 years, and I don't see that happening either. Now, if it does, we're always there. It won't be me. It'll be somebody else. But we're there. We'll have to do something about it. Yes. Uh... Soaring through darkness on a 32-hour nonstop mission. 2B, two Spirit Stealth bomber pilots flew thousands of miles without landing, confined to a cockpit no larger than a walk-in closet. Sustained by two critical mid-air refuelings, they delivered a precise combat strike deep behind enemy lines showcasing not just cutting-edge aerospace technology, but human endurance and strategic precision under extreme conditions.